G'day everyone, welcome to Animal Tales with Tim Faulkner, that's me. Today, I'm talking about a little endangered marsupial, the Palmer Wallaby. Palmer Wallabies are a small marsupial. They have a pouch like all marsupials and they live in Eastern Australia. Now, they were presumed extinct until around the 1960s. It was thought that the fox had annihilated their populations. They were actually rediscovered by the Australian Reptile Park, just 50 kilometers from where I'm standing now, and they were brought back from the brink of extinction. They're now a species that is still very fragile and endangered in the wild, and a flagship species that Aussie Ark works with. Let's take a look at some of the external features of a palmer wallaby. Now, palmer wallabies are macropods. Macropod means large-footed. It's the whole family, kangaroos, wallaroos, wallabies, potteroos, paddy melons, they all have large feet. Now, let's start the palmer wallaby's feet. So they've got that long foot, it's furred, uh, and it's great for just taking small hops through the forest. They're not like a red kangaroo that lives out in the Great Plains. Palmer wallabies live in forests. Now, look at the tail. It's used for two things counterbalance when they hop and for them to be able to rest on. We come up the body, let's have a look at the camouflage, the fur. It's very basic, but it's brown and it blends in with the background. Up to their front little paws, which are quite dex dexterous, and they use them to hold onto their food to eat, to pull little branches down or pick something up off the ground. Uh, they're hearing really great sense of hearing, a very reasonable uh, vision, uh, a great sense of smell and a petite little mouth. Now, they're mainly eating in the forest and their diet uh, consists of, of plants, okay? They're herbivores. So they'll use their little arms to pull up a fresh shoot of grass or something from a small bush. And for doing that, they actually still facilitate a very important environmental role. Where you have palmer wallabies, they eat bits and pieces of plants and they keep the forest floor a little open. And that's helpful for a whole range of other species. The palmer wallabies live in Eastern Australia. In fact, only in New South Wales. Now, they live in wet eucalypt forests. Now often, beneath the wet eucalypt forest, you'll have some subtropical rainforest or temperate forest. And you come out of that and you get into your wet sclerophyll or your wet eucalypt. That's where palmers live. And it's one of the keys to the reason they're not extinct yet. Because in that dense forest, they can hide from the feral pest like a fox. Palmer wallabies will live in small colonies. Now typically they'll rest or sleep alone, unless it's a female with a joey, uh, but they do live in loose colonies. Palmer wallabies are endangered because their populations have been really impacted by feral pests, mostly the feral fox. They've suffered from habitat destruction and fragmentation, being hit by cars and many other things. But the reality is there are some really wild areas where palmer wallabies still exist and their major threat is the feral fox. Aussie Ark is situated in the Barrington Tops and we have palmer wallabies at Aussie Ark. We also have some wild populations close by that are very endangered, but it's one of Aussie Ark flagship species. We want to return our sanctuaries, big parts of the Barringtons to what they were 200 years ago. And what does that mean? We need to reintroduce the top order predator. We need to reintroduce the critical weight range mammals that have all disappeared. And one of them is our superstar, the palmer wallaby. Being marsupials, they have a pouch. They have joeys. So the female and male will mate, and after a very short pregnancy, a little joey is born and it climbs into the pouch. Now, it lives in that pouch, cared for by mum, drinking milk, for about the first six months of its life. And then it will leave the pouch and start to wean. Now, depending on whether it's a little boy or a little girl, will normally decide how far away from mum it goes. A little male will disperse and leave its mum's territory, whereas a young female joey will normally stay close to mum in that loose colony. The palmer wallabies also have native predators, but they've dealt with them for millions of years. But those native predators could be a diamond python, a powerful owl, a tiger quoll, and for your homework today, I would like you to do me a drawing. Please put a palmer wallaby in an East Coast, East Australian wet forest with big gum trees and ferns on the ground. And show me one or two of its native predators. The next bit of homework is something you'll have to research. Now, I'd like you to have a look at a palmer wallaby and where it lives. And I want you to list for me five other species of mammal 
marsupial that live where palmer wallabies live. I'm not going to give you any clues, just find five other mammals, marsupials, that live where palmer wallabies do. That's all for today, see you later. Thanks for watching everyone. Now, the keepers and I are looking after all of our animals and our families, but we all have a bit of extra time at the moment, like you probably do too. So this is a great distraction for us, and hopefully you. Uh, if you like what you've seen or want to show me your homework, just put it into the comments. But this is what I do, connecting people with nature, and that can't stop. I'll see you next time.